Hello, this is Albert Young from Topaz Lab. We are releasing Topaz Denoise file for beta testing and preview. I'm recording this tutorial to show in details what is the intended way of using Topaz Denoise effectively. We really appreciate your time to reviewing and testing our software, and we are looking forward to your feedback. Let's open the picture uh, to ensure the be best noise reduction result. There are a few things you need to do in camera roll. Number one, make absolutely sure the black level will be zero. So here we go. You probably noticed when you turn the black level to zero, details from the shadow area start to come out. If you don't do that, just use the default value. You can see the detail in the dark area is gone. Even you increase the exposure, you still don't see a lot of detail. If you reduce the black level to zero, you start to see the detail. I will go through each step to make sure every control is zero, even for the, the sharpening. Uh, we can do sharpening later on after the noise reduction. Uh, go to the, the noise reduction and make sure turn off camera rolls noise reduction. I actually make a preset. I just need to click all zero. Everything will be fine. Now we can open up the image. Let's start with the easy way of using Topaz Denoise. First, like uh, any good Photoshop, I make a duplicated a layer. Invoke Topaz Denoise file. In case you haven't uh, seen used Topaz Denoise before, a very quick in introduction uh, about uh, the user interface. On the left-hand column are presets you can use to quickly get a reroute. This is a navigation panel you can move around, or you can simply just drag the image to move, move around. You can use this button to, to zoom. Use Premium mode to view different aspects of the image before and after. This is a Luma, allow you to see luminance channel only, color to see color information only, red is a red component, and blue is a blue component. You can turn on auto brightness, so the darker area will automatically brighten, so you can see the shadow. This area are the sliders that give you control for your noise reduction. Let's start it with the easy way. The easiest way is you try a preset and see what the result. As you can see, this picture is fairly noisy. So I started with a raw moderate. A very useful shortcut key is the spacebar. If you press it and hold it, you will see the original image. Of course, with the currently with auto brightness on. You release it, you will see the pro process result. And let's zoom in a little bit. Before, after. Let's move some a more interesting area. OK, let's see here. This before, after. I just use the raw moderate. Let's try raw strong. And before, after. Not bad. Move around to, to check. I need to move around the more and just to see how things go. Not bad for one click. So if you are happy, actually you are done. You just click OK. You are done. I'm going to show you how to use Topaz Denoise file using slider directly, all from scratch. First, let's clap this panel so we have more, more room to, to see the picture. Reset all will reset all the parameter to zero. The general way of doing it is you first work on reducing the luminance noise. Then you go to reducing the color noise. 
let's do the luminant noise first. Click on Luma preview mode so you only see the luminant information in the picture. Find a mid-tone area. Use this noise uh, and the noise reduction group use overall strength. Increase it so you will find a, a good noise reduction on the mid-tone. This value looks good. If you use too strong a value, you will see the picture become very smooth but uh, maybe too soft. But if you use too small value, you will see a lot of noise residuals. So you want to use a fairly select a good value. Focus on mid-tone. Uh, disregard the dark part or very black part. We will deal with it later on. Now we are going to see how well the dark area goes. Go to a very dark area. Turn on the auto brightness so you can see the result better. It will not change the brightness in the final result, but during the preview, uh, you will see much clearly. So this is before, this is after. I would like a little bit stronger noise reduction in this dark area. So I increase adjust shadow. And you can immediately see the noise in shadow was greatly reduced. I will move into other shadow area and see before press the spacebar and hold after release spacebar. Turn it off you see it's very dark. Turn it on you can see the brightened result. So the shadow is okay. Now you go to a highlight area. This area looks like a highlight area. You do the same thing. Usually highlight area you don't need a lot of noise reduction as in this case. You see it seems a little bit over smoothing and, uh, and take out uh, more detail it should be. I will reduce the highlight noise reduction. Something like that. I think it's good. Again more around on different area and uh, see if you like it. Before, after. This is a zoom at 200%. You can reduce it and see a, a larger area. This is before, after. Before, after. Now I would adjust details because details are all in the luminous channel. I would like to do a detail adjustment before I go into the color channel. So open up detail recovery. Increase recover detail slider. You will see the picture get a more some detail get recovered. Let's zoom at 200 percent so we can see a little bit more clear. Let's look at uh, this area. Let's increase it even more and more. You'll start to see detail but sometimes noise if I increase too much you will start to see the noise. So the trick is again to select a proper value. So this is before, this is after. As you can see most of the noise is gone and also it's actually restore the edge. You think the Im image is still a little bit blur, you can reduce blur. Again don't overdo it. If you overdo it, some uh, noise will come back, just like you over sharpen a picture. Finally, some people don't like to have this very smooth uh, picture. It doesn't look natural. So you can add a little bit of uh, green to it. So the picture looks much natural. More around and see whether you like, you're, you're like to read out or not. Here. It seems I can use a little bit more shadow suppression. Here we are. Now I'm pretty much done with the luminance. And this is before, this is after. Before, after, 
and the data get preserved very well.